Hello everyone, welcome to the spoiler video on Star Wars The Acolyte Episode 7. Sorry this is on a Friday and not a Wednesday. I will try to make up for that next week for the finale. Um, I went away for a couple of days and just couldn't get it done on Wednesday. So anyway, enough about all that. We're just going to jump right into it because there is a lot to talk about. A lot of confusing things happen in this episode and I've got some thoughts on some of the things. Particularly, I want to talk about the word that they keep throwing around in this episode, and that is the word of virgins. The Jedi are looking for a virgins in the Force. What is a virgins in the Force? For those that do not know, who might vaguely remember hearing about it when Qui-Gon mentions that word in Episode One: The Phantom Menace, um, a virgins in the Force is basically a place or an object or in the case of both Anakin and the twins, a person with a high concentration of force energy. Uh, the cave on Dagobah is a virgins in the force. Um, the twins and of course Anakin are a virgins in the force. Like there's a high concentration of force energy like centered on these places and people. Um, so as for what this like the twins being ver a virgins means for the prophecy, the prophecy of the one that will bring the balance to the force. Obviously, Lucasfilm under Kathleen Kennedy. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I need to take some peps after this. I mentioned her name and I get indigestion. I'm kidding. That was. That was just coincidental timing. Um, obviously, Lucasfilm under Kathleen Kennedy is fine with tweaking or changing or ignoring uh, bits of previously established lore if it fits the story they want to tell. Um, we saw that with Rey killing Palpatine in Rise of Skywalker. We might become somewhat seeing that now with another basically force birth, like force influence birth, uh, with the twins. However, this time, um, it's weird because Mother Anaseya created the twins and not, you know, the force choosing to do it. So, uh, wibbly wobbly, mushy, weird shenanigans. Um, Although, on that note, um, the twins, not actually twins, apparently they're the same person split into two bodies. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm very confused by that. Like, so what does that mean? Hopefully we get answers next episode, because I am confused as fuck is what that means. Um, another thing that I will say just flat out confused me, and it also involves Mother Anasea, is her scene with Torben, basically like, hey, I know you want to go home, like, you want to leave this planet, and, like, her whole talking in his head, I, I don't understand what that scene was supposed to be about, was, like, was she trying to sit him? Was she trying to get him to join her? Was she trying to get him to, you know, do what she wants? Get the fuck off my planet by, you know, tempting him with what he wants? You get to go home. Like, that sort of deal? Like, yo, Neo, so you, so, like, the Jedi think I have this power and, you know, you can get the hell off my planet and away from, you know, me and my kids maybe, but even then that feels a little squishy in the logic department to me. I, I, I don't fucking know. I could be wrong. Um, so, uh, I now want to sort of clear up a misunderstanding because I've seen a couple of people talk about um, May bringing up a sacrifice. 
And this, I, I mentioned in the spoiler-free video, I may do an entire video talking about the the flashback sequence as a whole, and just how there seems to be a running theme of misunderstanding when it comes to these two episodes. And me thinking that maybe the writers are being deliberately vague, and one, maybe even wanting us to make false guesses or assumptions, kind of like the Jedi are doing in this episode. Like, for instance, we, like, all we see, all we see that Saul sees about this coven is, you know, Mother Anasea attacking the girls with the Force and then, you know, chanting over this hole. And then he assumes, you know, they're witches and it's dark magic and this, that, and whatever. But this under misunderstanding I want to kind of um, bring up is the whole May bringing up the idea of a sacrifice. I've seen a couple of YouTubers talking about how, like, you know, is one of the kids supposed to be sacrificed? Was that what Mother Anasea was doing when, you know, May started turning into black smoke? Uh, no. that That's not what's going on here. May, in the... the Recap before this episode, you actually hear Mother a, a short little couple lines from Mother Anasea talking about needing to go through fear and sacrifice a part of yourself. And May took those words and did not recite them verbatim and got them confused. Probably misunderstood what she was saying. And that's what led, you know, some YouTubers and possibly fans and the Jedi to make these false assumptions and guesses. Um, I did have the exact lines in front of me, or at least I thought I did, but I guess I don't now. Yay! Um, I will put a pen to comment what... Mother Anasea actually said, and what May says that she said. Uh, it'll be a pinned comment down below if you want to check that out. Um, so speaking of Mother Anasea and May in the Black Smoke, apparently this is a brand new ability. I did a bunch of research trying to see, like, is this whole, like, Black Smoke Thanos bullshit something we've seen before? Is it a Legends ability that I don't know of? What what the hell is going on here? And I can't find anything. Like, I've looked and I can't find anything. If any of you know what the hell this is, please hit me up in the comments. I really want to know. I'm a lore nerd. I love this shit. Anyway, um, so we see Mother Anasea disappearing, turning into black smoke, and May starts to do the same, and then that's when Saul, you know, murders her. I feel like the point of this is because we see Mother Coril and presumably the archer, the witches that are firing bows at Torben, vanish using this ability. I think Mother Anasea was trying to get herself and May away from the violence that was about to go down between the Jedi and the witches, and Saul jumped the gun. Again, I feel like there's a lot of, like, you know, I don't understand what's going on, so I'm taking it as threatening kind of thing happening here. So, oh, yeah. I, I, the more I talk about this, the more I'm convinced I need to do this video on the flashback sequences. Um, let's see, I've got about like a minute left, so I should probably go through and wrap this up. Um, though on the note of the witches, like, a after Indara, like, causes them to lose their grip on Kalnaka, hey, I know his name now, uh, the Wookiee, uh, like, did that kill them? Or were they left to die in the fire? <laughs> what happened here? I'm confused. Um, the last thing I do want to talk about, because again, I'd seen some YouTubers, one in particular, who will rename, remain nameless, uh, talk about, you know, Torben, you know, killing himself for basically nothing. 
Like, you didn't do anything, buddy. I feel like more could have been done to show his guilt over causing some of the events that happened here. Like, he feels responsible for it because, you know, he wanted to get home so bad that he went on this ill-advised uh, mission to get the girls and caused a bunch of deaths. I, I feel like more could have been done to show that, show him having guilt and remorse over that and explain why he kills himself in episode two. Uh, anyway, I'm out of time. See you guys next week for the finale. May the force be with you.